all right guys i'm back today with another video and this one is going to be brought to you by the company omg queen of course you guys know i've worked with them plenty of times before they are one of the affordable companies so of course i'm going to leave all the links down below and guys if you want to subscribe to my channel please hit the subscribe button and also turn those notifications on so that you don't miss a video it looks like omg queen does have a new little drawstring bag which i thought was really cute of course you can store your unit back in it and it also comes in a plastic bag so the unit that they sent over is their affordable everyday natural curve part lace front wig this is a bob style it's in a natural color it is silky straight i do have the length 10 inches it's 150 percent in the front and then 180 percent in the back i do have the glueless lace wig cap and i also have the new and improved bleach knots where they bleach the whole wig for you and this unit does come with a pre-plucked hairline this unit does come with your two combs on the side a comb in the middle a comb in the back and they also put on an elastic band which does cost an extra fee make sure you guys are clicking exactly the way that i have the unit so that you can get the same one and you do get a pretty good amount of parting space and i did notice out of the box that this does have a very nice density to it this is what the unit looks like after I have freshly washed it. Now I did not have to bleach the knots because I do have the option where you can get the whole lace bleached. And I'm just showing you guys right here the adjustable strap that they put on, which I prefer this one instead of the other ones that they just put on. I like that I can adjust it to fit my head. And then this is what the unit looks like as far as the hairline goes. The hairline looks pretty decent. I do feel like you could go in and pluck it a little bit more. It's especially on the sides but for it to be done by the company I feel like it looks okay and you do get a decent amount of parting space with this unit we did a really good job as far as bleaching the knots go now you don't have to pick um, the bleach knot option you can also just pick the default option which gives you at least the bleach knots two inches in the front which is the way that most of their units will come going to rock this in a curved part now it does come in a curved part when you take it fresh out of the package however you guys know that i love to wash my units that is just something that i like to do but if you wanted to just put this on and add a little bump to it you definitely could because it's pretty much already done for you and there's not much to do with this unit on cutting off the lace on this unit and I did notice that it fit me good by the ear tab so I will not have to go in and cut any excess lace off on the side now this is a medium cap size like I stated it was a little bit big on me after I cut the unit off after I cut the lace off not the unit what am I talking about <laughs> but this unit does come in the small option which gives you an extra five days and then you have to get it custom made if you want a bigger size than the medium now what I'm noticing is with most of the companies they always keep a medium in stock and if you want a small or the custom or large then most of the time you do have to wait a little bit extra so that's just something to think about when you are ordering your units going through the top of the unit with my Andy's hot comb just making sure it's a press in between the parting space so that my wig could be laying really flat now I know somebody will say well that's just too much work why are you doing all this work because everybody does not know to get their unit back style the way that it came out of the box so I'm just walking them through the tutorial of course you can skip all this and you can just wash your unit and mold it and put the part in it and let it air dry and you don't have to go through all of these steps so this is for the people who who want to know how to continue to wear their units after they have washed them. my care care wax stick at the top just to kind of give it a sleeker look and then I went in with my heat protecting spray I am using my Kaposi flat iron to kind of speed up the process so that I don't have to take small pieces and small sections but once I start flat ironing I did notice that my wig looks totally different than what the website wig looks like um, on the website, it looks more blunt cut, but mine is pretty much angled on one side. And I had to keep making sure that I wasn't tripping, but it's definitely longer on one side. And I'm a little bit disappointed because I was hoping that it came looking exactly like the picture on the website. Because the picture on the website looks really, really nice. I would have to go in and definitely customize it on that one side to get it to look like the website. And I 
just did not want to have to do that. So I'm going to definitely make this work. As you guys can see, I did have to go over a couple of the sections multiple times because once I washed this unit after it dried, it did have a nice little wave pattern, especially towards the ends. Now, like I stated, this hair is 150% density in the front and then 180% density in the back. So this hair is very, very thick. So you wanna make sure that you are getting this nice and straight to get the sleek look you guys know all of the products that I use in my videos will always be linked down below if it is something that I miss or that I mentioned that's not linked let me know and I will definitely go and get the links for you or tell you guys where you can purchase it from I'm going to go ahead and go in with my powder this is my Ruby Kisses 3d contour creator powder palette in the color light medium they also have a medium dark I believe I'll leave a link down below for that also but I'm going into the parting space and around the hairline just to make it blend in a little bit more with my skin and also going around the sides. As you guys can see, I did not use any adhesives to lay this down. Um, I did take a little bit of my got to be gel in the black bottle and just kind of swoop some hair right over on that side where the curved part starts, just because I think it needed a little bit of something on the side. Now, as far as the pre pucks hairline goes, I do feel like they could have plucked out a little bit more, especially because it's still thick in the front. To me, 150% in the very front of the unit is still pretty much thick. So I think they kind of could have plucked it out just a little bit Taking more. Taking my Glam Force spray and I ran it through the comb and then I'm just running it over the top of the hair. And this is just going to lay down any of those short hairs that I see and just kind of keep the style in place and help it lay really flat. I also have to go in with my Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Serum just to control any type of frizziness because it did start to get a little bit frizzy on me added in my powder the parting space and the hairline looks very natural like I said they did a very good job on the bleach knots and you don't have to pick that option once again but if you are scared to bleach your knots the companies now do it for you and I feel like they did not over bleach them to see the density of this hair is nice it's not thin at all you don't have to worry about any tracks showing on this unit it looks really really good um they do offer the 130 percent and just 150 percent if you don't want the 180 in the back however those are going to take you like an extra 30 days so the one that i have is the one that they will have in stock and they can ship out a little bit quicker so get this unit all the way up until the length 16 inches however that's going to take a little bit longer also so if you want the ones that are going to come quick it's going to be the 10 12 and 14 inch lens the lace color on the unit also can come in light brown medium brown dark brown and just a white lace are not a fan of the silky look they also offer this unit in the yakky the light yakky texture so that's a good thing for my ladies who want it to look very natural now only thing i'm really disappointed about is that i wish that it was cut evenly all the way around you can definitely tell that they ended up not cutting off that extra piece because in the very front part i can see the shorter pieces where it's supposed to be cut yes i can go in with my scissors but of course when you see a picture on the website you get hyped and you don't want to really have to go in and do too much work with all that being said i still feel like this is a really cute unit especially for the summertime and you have the option to pick between silky and light yakky which i think is really cool because sometimes silky may be just a little bit too much and may not look as realistic to some people so guys if you are filling this unit let me know down below of course i'll leave all the details once again don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on those notifications share and like this video and i'll see you guys next time bye guys